This shoe is pretty damn good. Let me tell you why. Yo, what's up people? This is Timmy from Pure Kicks. Welcome back to the channel. You've already read the title. You've already seen the thumbnail. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Nike PG6. It's been a long time coming, but thank you for your patience. Let's get into it. But before I do, if you're already part of the team, you already know the vibes, go hit that like button right now. And if you're new here, hit the like button as well, but also the subscribe and the bell next to it to get notified every time a new video drops. Welcome to the team. Now that's enough chit chat, let's get straight into this shoe. Starting things off with my favorite part of the shoe. If you're gonna give me full length react, this is probably gonna be the cushioning. A whole way through the shoe, we've got that bouncy, cozy, responsive, wonderful goodness in React foam. Now last shoe we had the Nike Struggle, we're along with the PG4s as well, but it's all changed in the PG6. And I don't know if I'll say for the better, but it's up there though. It did its absolute thing straight out the box. It felt good underfoot. It felt responsive. I felt like I could get right into it. So no problems there. I wouldn't say I was blown away. It's hard to compete with something like Nike Zoom, but it's in there. So for that reason, give it a nine out of 10. I think I'm going to get more scarce with the 10 out of 10s going forwards. So nine out of 10 is going to have to do for now. Big bowl, don't watch that. Next up, talking about the traction. I spoke about this a little bit in the unboxing and the breakdown. We've kind of got a traction pattern reminiscent of the React foam itself. Lines creating circles, quite thick, protruding outwards. It did its thing. It did what traction is supposed to do. I didn't have any real problems. I was playing on a pretty clean court. So it had everything going for it. Dust collection on this traction pattern was pretty minimal. There's not a lot of space or room for any dust to really build up anywhere. If it does, a quick wipe takes care of it instantly. So yeah, all good all around, really. Even eight out of 10, I weren't really blown away like that. I've seen some bell, eight out of 10 is gonna have to do. It's pretty damn good though. It's pretty damn good. Next up, talking about the fit. I really enjoyed this part of the shoe. Why? It was lush. The whole lining on the inside is padded nicely and it fits true to size. You know me, big size 12 with a narrow foot. I had no problems. I kind of guessed because of the shape of the shoe, especially coming away from the fours and the fives, it's definitely a more sleek, way more mesh. And like I said, the padding on the inside, it hugged the foot so well. Now I did work out in both single socks and double socks. To be fair, I did most of the workout in single socks, but when I hit double socks, I said, wow. I was upset, I should have gone most of the workout in the double socks. Both of them banged in their own way, depending on your own preference. So it doesn't really change the fit too much. However you feel, you're gonna be fine in these going one sock or two socks, all good in the hood. Getting a mom had no problems whatsoever. Felt like an absolute glove. One of the best feelings when it's time to get to hooping. Eight out of 10 for these. It's difficult getting any eight or higher when it comes to fit. It can be a little higgy, hit or miss. Eight out of 10 is calm. It's calm. Next up, talking about the support. Internal heel counter is normal. We've got an integrated midfoot strap, which you've not actually seen an external strap since the PG1 and 2.5. So to see it integrated here, done pretty nicely and subtly, which I appreciate. Leather hits throughout to kind of give you support in those high wear areas. And what feels like a phylon carrier along the lateral side to keep you on the footbed and locked in when you move side to side. Overall, support was pretty good, but I'm sure it's pretty difficult when it comes to designing creative shoes for creative players. Because the last thing you want to do is restrict but you still have to make sure they're locked down to do their thing. Seven out of 10 for the support, which I think is what they want it to be, if that makes sense. You can't have 10-10 support on a shoe that's this low for one and for such a creative player. Seven out of 10 it is, for sure. Last and always least, materials. It's mesh, right? It's all mesh with those leather hits I mentioned earlier. But it don't feel premium. Do you know what I'm saying? For the sixth shoe, I'm expecting a little something something in the mesh, right? It feels like regular run of the mill mesh. And it did this one thing, hoopers can relate. You know when it clicks, for, listen to that. You hear that, right? It didn't restrict at all. It moved really well. It broke in really well, because I guess there wasn't much of it. But when you tie them up, every step becomes a click because of how like the shapes, you guys know what I'm talking about? If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. 
but the click was annoying. It, you eventually get over it, but it's kind of a sign of like a cheaper material. When I really think six shoes in, you deserve premium at this point. So cool materials, they were cool. Seven out of 10. Why? Breaking time was cool. I'm not sure how long they'll hold up for. I've got about two, three workouts in with these. So, so far so good. Now, of course, what you normally get in mesh, breathable, lightweight, flexible. I don't know how much flexible I got. I got some, definitely breathable, definitely lightweight. So some wins, but that flexible part, I don't know. That clicking really got to me. I don't know why. Shout me if you know what I'm talking about. Hold the seven out of 10 for now. Yeah, seven out of 10. So looking at all the scores, the Nike PG6 comes out at a young 7.8 out of 10. Cushion and Traction did their thing to hold this one up, but let down a little bit by the materials. PG, you deserve better, yeah? You deserve better than this cheap mesh. Go ask some questions, say. So personal thoughts for me, I see this shoe hitting my rotation, no problems. It's lightweight, it's cozy, it's bouncy, all of those things I like in a shoe. So I don't see it coming out of the rotation at all for a while. PG does this, I ain't gonna lie. Overall, I like this shoe, I mess with them heavy. Like I said at the beginning, it's a pretty damn good shoe. So if you get yours, let me know in the comments. Let me know how they go for you, all love. So right guys, that's it from me. If you're already part of the team, go hit that like button right, right now. If you're new here, go hit that like button right, right now. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time I drop a new video. Let me know what shoe you want me to review next. Go in the comments right now and let me know. I can make that happen and I'll see you in the next one. So right guys, that's the video done. This is the Nike PG6. I'm Timmy from Pure Kicks. Let's get it.